In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today's feast of the Transfiguration shows us something beyond us. It shows us something, uh, something of Christ that would not be possible if he were just like any one of us. If he were just another guy. Instead, it shows us something of the divine. It shows us that here there was an encounter with the one who transcended all. This one who transcends all is the same one who appeared to Moses. And when Moses came down from his own mountain, his face was unviewable by those he was with. It was too bright, too much light. And they weren't, a, they weren't able to, to stand this light at that point. This brilliant change is something that that Peter is at least familiar with. And we often read the words in the Gospel as Peter babbling, having no idea what he's saying, so he just uses words and it's surprising that they form a sentence. But, he's, but this is in reference, this is a product of his teaching of what he has been taught through the Old Testament. This is a profound event. Let us make a shrine. Let us remember this event. Have, we, we'll, put up, um, we'll put up markers so that in the future we'll remember when Moses came back and, and talked to this man from Nazareth. Hearing was the problem. Here, we learn that God transcends this. We learn that this, whatever marker could, that the disciples could have put up, just like any plaque that we can put up, is by its nature temporary. Plaque. We may think of it as being a permanent thing because, well, it's longer than our own life. But ultimately, all is temporary. Peter talks about this when he talks about the tabernacle that is his body. Of course, you have your body for your whole life. That's the definition of it. But you're, at some point, there is that separation from this particular tabernacle, this particular tent, as it's sometimes called. And so no monument would be monumental enough for the God who is beyond all. We spoke on the weekend about what is the church? What is this church? And we, we talked about what, what is the purpose of a church building and that the great riches and the purpose for the building itself is for each one of us, all the bricks that make up God's church which is beyond the bricks and mortar or the wooden nails that we put together. When we see the transfiguration, we see, we see the brightness, the radiance or effulgence that is that experience of God, that is that uncreated light that, uh, that comes with, um, with certain experiences of the divine. Some of us may have read about them, um, that, they, that it does occur even through history. Yet this is also, at the same time, at the same time that we commemorate this radiance, is also a connection, the connection with the crucifixion. <clears throat> See, when, what, when it happens in the actual chronology of Christ's life, is that after the transfiguration, it's very, very clear that the crucifixion is coming. And it's not, not too far off. Now, we've, we do have other feasts during Lent, and so it's rather difficult to put them all into the one time of year. So when, then, do we, put, do we celebrate the transfiguration? We celebrate it 40 days before the feast that we call the exaltation of the cross. Preserving thus this link between 
the glory of God, yet all that he went through for us, leading to the resurrection. This is a, this is a feast that, that teaches us about the mystery of salvation, that Christ was God before, during, and after, whenever it was, before, during, and after the transfiguration, before, during, and after his birth, before, during, and after his ascension, that he is always God. And no less so than when he was Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews, no less so than when he was the king of glory. In this we learn that we follow him in each of our highs and lows, in each of our sorrows and joys, each of our burdens and each of our, our, our triumphs. That we do all of these things through Christ who strengthens us, the good, the bad, and the unimaginable. We do all these things through him. Amen.